NOAA is predicting an above normal 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, which would make this year the seventh consecutive above normal season. And there it is, NOAA predicting an above normal 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, which would make this the seventh consecutive above normal season. We've heard that before. Uh, three to six of those, by the way, being considered major hurricanes. This means the crews are getting ready for what is being predicted to be an above average hurricane season. And tonight, Rebecca Petit takes a look at how the NOAA Aircraft Operations Center in Lakeland is getting ready. We're ready to go no matter what. Today, NOAA predicting 14 to 21 named storms will develop in the Atlantic this year. How many storms there may or may not be, it's just a prediction. We're going to be ready to respond and ready to react. The commanding officer at NOAA Aircraft Operations Center in Lakeland, Christopher Kearns, tells me hurricane hunters have been preparing for this hurricane season since the last season ended. Ensuring that the crews are trained, the aircraft are ready, maintained, prepared to go. NOAA hurricane hunters are tasked with either doing research or reconnaissance. Hurricane hunters are in the storm environment for about six hours, collecting data, including strength, pressure, temperature, and identifying its center. Kearns tells me the worst flights are tropical storms trying to become a hurricane. Those become the most challenging uh, regimes of flight because you're constantly adjusting power and constantly adjusting the nose attitude to try and make sure that the plane stays level. While hurricane hunters are in the air, data is transmitted in real time to the National Hurricane Center for forecasting and models that are used by local meteorologists. Kern says what they do is risky yet rewarding. Because our crews go out and take those risks, the benefit is this really great information which we implore people to pay attention to. So when an emergency manager orders an evacuation, we say, please do it because we went out and collected all this data. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.